you get angry, it can make you happier in the long run. Well, that's at least what a new study says. So we want to know how this all pans out. So we're asking Dr. Partha Nandy. Hi, Dr. Nandy. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Uh, great. Hopefully you are as well. So how does anger help with uh, our happiness? You know, I'd love to say, Carolyn, that you can be happy all the time and avoid angry feelings, but we're human. We experience a range of emotions that go kind of hand in hand with the ups and downs of life. So to see how emotions like anger, hostility, and hatred impact at happiness levels, researchers interviewed 2,000 students in eight countries, including here in the U.S., and they found students who said their emotional state really matched what they wanted or desired, reported greater life satisfaction and fewer symptoms of depression. So pretty interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Can you give us an example of how this really works? Absolutely. So let's say, for example, you're hoping to get a promotion at work. You'd expect to feel pretty crummy if that doesn't happen. Or if you read a bad story about child abuse, you would expect to feel anger. Instead of burying that emotion, allow yourself to feel it. It's better to process unpleasant emotions because they could be meaningful and valuable feelings that in the end lead to more life satisfaction. When my pa father passed away, I could have just ignored it and try to move on but I but I led myself to say you know I'm gonna feel that sadness allowed me to grow yeah I certainly understand that sometimes we feel better after a good long cry so so what are your prescriptions in the long run for us and it's to embrace our anger yeah absolutely the Western world you know has a lot of unrealistic expectations and there's a lot more to happiness than just feeling endless joy so my prescriptions number one don't feel pressure to be happy all the time suppressed emotions can actually lead to less happiness when your reality doesn't match your desires also don't push away negative emotions instead find meaning in them they'll lose their power and they resolve naturally also, very important here, exercise regularly. You'll lower your stress chemical levels, which allow you to better cope with unpleasant feelings. And finally, think of ways you can safely express your emotions, like talking with a loved one. Holding on to unpleasant emotions can really lead to a downward spiral, which can make it worse. Wow, that makes a lot of sense always. Yeah, let it out. Talk about it and, and then throw it away. Absolutely. All right, Dr. Nanny, as always, thank you so much for your medical advice. My we pleasure. appreciate you. Joanne? Yeah, great advice.